I don't exactly know why, but ever since I first played this game, I always kind of thought that instead of being inside of Yub's body, he was kind of like a gigantic piece of furniture, because this looks way too much like couch cushions. Seriously, pink cow cushions. Cow, cow. C couch cushions. I'm serious. It's so weird. Alright, hey guys, Super Hero Scrubs here. Welcome back to my Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we got here. Oh, we battled Kamek, and we made it here into Yub's belly. In this episode, we are going to hopefully explore all five of these separate chambers and continue. So, this Yoshi is crying and sucking his thumb. He's a mama's boy. Help. That looks like a half dick, an at sign, and a music note. <laughs> That thing's just humping air. Hey, jump! What'd you do that for? Screw you, it said. Alright, so, here begins our first- Oh, freaking. Here begins our battle with Archie Shru- Archie. R.C. Shruber. Now, he will be- Moderately difficult the first time you battle him. You're gonna get better as you continue in the game, but you'll notice here that um, he's gonna be sending this guy here around. So you're just gonna want to dodge him. If you jump on him, he'll disappear too. The little robot thing. Um, the the way that he is um, pointing at whoever he's pointing at at the beginning of the battle, that's where he'll send that in. He also has an attack where he uses your hammers to be able to evade it or counterattack. But we're not really at that yet, so, because, obviously, we haven't gotten to that. Thanks! Yes! Huh? Escape? No! Teleport! Uh, teamwork at its finest, isn't it? Alright, we got a bean right over here. Let's get that bean. And let's head out to the next chamber. As you can see, these chambers are really easy to get through. So I think the best idea for me to do is actually to heal Mario here instead of waiting because that'll just kind of be stupid to go and heal with like mushrooms or something like that. So this room, we're going to also be meeting this game's interpretation of dry bones. They are kind of annoying. Again, they don't exactly look like the real ones from like the Mario parties. Now, you guys remember from early on, the enemies that would jump, I think these were the um, the Leap Bros that we battled. They would jump before they threw our hammers at us, therefore, we wouldn't want to jump. That's the si it's basically the same exact thing with these, but they only have that attack. So, just remember that. They're really easy to defeat. Mostly easy, but they are kind of annoying. So, I typically jump with both of them, because they don't exactly signal which one they're going to go at. It's kind of a timing sort of a thing. You just got to know when it's going to... When to jump and stuff like that. It's mostly easy. You'll get a hang of dodging a lot of these as soon as you start dodging. After you battled one, you'll get a hang of dodging all the others, and so on and so forth. Alright, this room. This room is actually very fun. It's probably one of my favorites. Because this actually uses the button feature in Yub's body. You're going to basically want to match up each of these buttons, and that'll lift up his skin. He also kind of grimaces at that as you head into his body. Now, in here, we have the little babies to guide us to whatever we're doing. But right down here, this is where it can kind of get a little bit tricky. You're going to want to have to be able to see the bottom screen when you're with the babies up top. Remember that. Alright, so position yourself correctly, and then blue, oopsies. Blue, blue, yellow, yellow. I typically do the top row first and then continue with the rest. Blue, red, yellow. So, bottom one, blue, blue, yellow, yellow, red, blue. A lot of colors in this. Red, and yellow. And that will pop whatever that is. I don't understand it either. <laughs> Some of this stuff in Yub's body is just so random, too. It's like, first of all, this looks like fruit. Look, at the sides of his body look like fruit, and they're so perfectly, like, rounded and shaped. It's just weird. And that looks like a grape up there. I mean, seriously? Nintendo must have been thinking of fruit when they made this dungeon here. Whatever. That was scary. 
No, Derry, you were stuck behind a poppy blue thing. It's like some sort of bubble gum that he chewed up and ate. All right, so let's head on out and head on to the next chamber. Uh, something else that also amazes me, this looks like mushrooms. I have no idea why there are skulls up above the doors. That's what I always thought they were, is they're skulls. Plus green, there's like some sort of umbrella mushroom things in here. It's just such a random dungeon. All in all, it's just, just like, what? All right, bullies, these guys. Oh, Jesus. These guys are annoying. Because their counterattacking is very difficult, unless you know the timing for each of the speeds, because as you hit one of them, its speed will increase for when it attacks, basically, and its attack power too, so it became it becomes extremely difficult at then. Now, if you if you are able to jump on them, I, which I suggest you try to jump on them before the start of the battle, you can do some beginning damage, and you can go and hit them. And I'll do damage and we'll only be able to um, hit them twice. So I suggest you don't hit them once if they're about to attack again. I mean, if you guys know what I'm getting at here so that they don't go and mess you up. Because it'll be kind of annoying. So you just want to kill one as soon as possible. Because you... Oh, God. Great job, me! You're so smart, Patrick. You jump way before it. Now, not th it's not their physical speed getting... Up, it's their attack speed, so how fast they attack at. So Mario levels up, that means Luigi also should. Um, not health. Uh, let's go deep. Let's not go defense! That was definitely not meant to be. Alright, what should I level up for Luigi? Speed? Ugh, it's never meant to be! God dang it. Screw me! Alright, this area actually has so many freaking bullies, it's just plain on annoying. And this area doesn't even have a Yoshi in it, that's the funny part. So it's more for just leveling up. Get away from me. Especially when you don't you don't want to battle these with just your younger bros. You will regret it beyond all belief. Toss me. Alright. So okay, it's still the same exact layout as before. Now if you're going to be using, say, fire flowers, ice flowers, because things are going to start getting ice flowers, your smash eggs, whatever, if you're going to be using those heading in here, be wary. You will probably screw yourself over very fast. Now, um, for all you guys who do know, if there is a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? A way to... A determination of which dry bones is gonna go after please tell me in the comments and I will tell people in the next episode but as long as I have played this game I have never realized that there has been a correlation between which what which bro is gonna go after I think it's just watching and hoping that you get the right button right as soon as you jump instead of messing up but I always do both just in case all right Launch the little bros up here, and yes, there are bullies, I know, I know, they're bullyful. I'm probably just gonna ignore them. How odd. Uh, they're not even going after me, okay, cool. Now, I suggest you go in the middle one, if I remember correctly. Yes, this is the middle one. So, hit that, and that will create a, a barrage. And Yoshi runs across, and goes out to help. Five of the six Yoshis now dealt with. So I th there is a bean on the other one, so I guess it could be worth it to go and get that. So let's go and get that, I should say. So just go on the far right hole. Most success you'll have there. Hop on in. So now we're stranded. Let's jump into the spikes. Because that's the best idea to do. And you just get launched back here. You don't even take damage. That's the funny part about this game. And the nice part about this game is you don't typically take damage if you mess up something. Alright. Let's not heal because we didn't even battle anyone in that area. Now for the last one. We're at 10 minutes approximately. And he's shouting another 
dick, at sign, and... <laughs> half dick, I should say, at sign, and... Uh, whatever it was. Alright, I suggest you take three here, because the timing could be kind of weird. Oh, I messed it up already. I messed it up already. Alright, so about when he... When that when he's circling in circles there, it's about when he's right at the bottom. So, alright. I think you have to hit him three times. And this can kind of get kind of lucky here. Oh, I did get him on my first try through that time. No, it's two times. And he short circuits. Man down! He blows up the sidewall. How amazing is that? All right, now we just need a deplete of our water and head back out with the bros to go and fight the doctor, or the RC Shroom. Dr. Shroom. I was in Vim Forest for too long. V Vim Forest. Vim Factory! All right, RC Shroom. Now, this is the attack that is super easy to avoid. I feel like the timing for that, basically what he's gonna do is he's gonna summon a Shroom Copter thing to go over your head. And all you're gonna need to do is as you're on your way up going to the shroom copter, just hit it with your hammer and it'll go deflecting into him. It's the easiest. It's what actually my favorite counterattacks in this game is doing that exact move. But otherwise, this on the other hand. Yep, well, that killed him too. So, this on the other hand, that's not that fun to go and evade. But, the nice part is, is that. If you jump on it, it will go and hit him, and you'll be able to counterattack. Now for the final Yoshi. Now, if you'd like to watch on the top screen, go from bottom to top as soon as you see that chomp drop into the hole, as soon as we head out. So let's grab this last bean, and we will hopefully continue. All right, now teamwork pulls together in the end. Guess you could say it's pushing the limit. Uh, the reason I didn't say I'm not gonna talk anymore is because I, you guys already know I'm not gonna talk anymore. <laughs> so that opens up his like vein bigger. That's basically like a blood clot or something like that, moving out throughout your system and just like opening up your vein. It's weird. This area just freaked me out when I was a kid. It's just creepy. All right. So you know what? Let's go down this way. I say, let's get to the next area, because there is a save point there, so... Now, quickly, you will end up encountering some dry bones. Speaking of dry bones, you're going to end up encountering dry bones here, so don't worry about it. They're easy to kill. I'm going to cut to the end of this battle so that they are dead. So, B-R-T-Y-B-R-B. -B. Death by number five! Except not negative five. All right. So, that's the end of those dry bones. So, uh, let me quickly mention this, guys, since, actually, it's the second episode, so, uh, it doesn't matter. Second episode I recorded right now, because I am going up north again over the weekend, and I'm not going to be able to upload as much as typical. I will try to get an episode out every day as long as I want to record an episode, all episodes for the weekend. So, basically, I got almost three more episodes to go and record if I want to get all of them out. All right, one more dry bones taken care of. So, oh, Baby Mario leveled up. What's funny is that actually the babies will level up faster than the adults, which is something I've always kind of found funny about this game. Oh, yeah, power up to 30, holy cow. Oh, yeah, he even mimicked what I said. So, Baby Luigi, wow, his health needs to get way up. Okay, so, ow, I just accidentally ripped my earbud out of my ear. That really hurt. <laughs> Cause I have the sound reducing earbuds. It kind of like makes a pressure or a vacuum in your ear. Oh God! Hello there, Mr. RC Shroomer. Okay, I guess I can begin the battle with a hit. All right, so pound delicious. I don't know what I don't even know what I just said. All right, so we even get a cannonball, cannonballer, cannonballer for beating that. So, there should be one more dry bones right around here. Yep, there he is. Igno Since when do bones want to go and change their way that they're going? Nice game. Death to dry bones. Death 
to dry bones. He is definitely dead. All right. So, wow, Mario leveled up, so that's good. So, let's see how much we can level up his health. Not apparently too much. It was not meant to be. Again. It was not meant to be. All right. So, how about his health? No, not too big. Except his power needs to be way up. Yeah, we got it up to 43 already. Holy cow. Okay, so... That should be the end. No! No! Never again! No. Get out of here! Thank you. I dodged him. <laughs> I don't want to battle another one of those. It's boring as is. Not the game, but battling them is boring. So, let's go down this allegedly placed warp pipe. So... That's going to end it off for this episode, guys. Next episode, we will be tackling most likely the rest of Yub's body, if not more. Well, not pro probably not more, but we're going to try to get over to that save area. So, as usual, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I've been Super Scripts, and I'll see you guys next time for some more. Let's play Mario & Luigi Partners in Time.